good morning. Um, today I thought I would take you on a like day in the life. I haven't done one in a really long time. So I thought I'd take you along on what I kind of do day to day. Um, it does differ a little bit, but not by much. So it is 530 and I just got off a client call. So Monday through Thursday, I do um, a client call at 5 a.m. And it's like roughly 30 to 40 minutes, just depending on what kind of workout she has. Um, and then my husband just left for work. So the kitties will be getting up soon. My, I think I heard her, my freshman, my daughter's a freshman, so she's gonna be getting up soon because she leaves first. And then the other kids are getting up at six and then I gotta get them on the bus. And then I have to get my youngest one, Zoe, to preschool. Um, she starts at 8.45. And then I'm gonna go to Meyer and get some stuff. I wanna get some stuff to make lasagna for Friday. And I wanna try to make um, strawberry jam, strawberry jam preserve, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I saw a recipe yesterday and I wanna try it. And this one doesn't have pectin in it because um, we can't have pectin in the jam because my husband is allergic to pectin. So I'm gonna try it out and hopefully it tastes good because I know he really likes strawberry jam, but we can never find it. So I think I'm just gonna make it. So, um, so that's kind of what I'm gonna do today. And then I'll just kind of take you along and show you what my day looks like. So I am going to finish up my little morning here. I, after my client call, I like to do um, Bible study. I just read a scripture and kind of um, do a prayer. And then in my calendar, I like to write down what I want to get done today, things I need to post um, in like my Facebook groups and stuff. So yeah, all right, I'm gonna get going with my morning. Okay, kids are at school. I just pulled into Meyer, so I'm gonna go do some shopping, get stuff to make the strawberry jam, and if I have time, maybe do some Christmas shopping because I am running very behind in shopping this year, so I need to get started. So I got about two hours to do what I need to do before I need to go get Zoe from preschool. So I'm gonna go shopping. All right, I got everything on my list, which is awesome. Um, so now I'm gonna head home. I gotta go straight home because I have some Christmas gifts, so I don't want Zoe to see them. And I have cold stuff that needs to be refrigerated. So I'm gonna go home and drop this stuff off. Okay, so I am back from Meyer. I hid the presents. Um, so now I'm just gonna unload my groceries, get stuff set out for the strawberry jam. So when I come back home from getting Zoe, um, I can start on the jam and then I think I'm going to start on dinner as well. I'm going to um, cook up the taco meat and the onions and peppers. So then later when we get back home from after school and after the chiropractor, I can just kind of reheat it and then um, heat up the shells and then we should be ready to go. So I am just going to unload the groceries. Alright, so I'm back home from getting Zoe from preschool. Um, I feel like on the days that she has preschool, I just drive everywhere. So where we are, not everything is close. We're kind of out in the country. Um, so if I want to go to the store or their school, it's at least 20 to 30 minute drive just to get there and then back is another 20 to 30 minutes. So um, I'm, I feel like on those days, I'm just in the car. So today's um, kind of a busy day. It's a Tuesday, so Zoe has preschool. The other kids are at school. Um, we also, after the older kids get home, we have chiropractor appointment. Uh, and then sometimes like my older two will either have basketball practice or band. 
So today they don't luckily have that. So we do have to go to the chiropractor today. So right now I am just kind of chopping up the strawberries. I already had them soaking in water while I went to go get Zoe from school. So they're already washed. So I'm just cutting off the green tops and then slicing them in half. And I have about two pounds of strawberries that I'm going to make into a jam. I saw this recipe and I'm gonna try it out for the first time and we'll see how it goes. Um, and this jam is strawberries and sugar, that's it. Um, I obviously can't have pectin in it. My husband is allergic to pectin. Um, I almost threw this in the garbage. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, that's why I wanted to try it out. And he loves strawberry, like a strawberry jelly, strawberry jam, or like a strawberry syrup. So, um, but it have a really, really hard time finding it without pectin because pectin, um, has some form of apple in it and he is allergic to apple. So that's why he cannot have pectin. So I'm just going to chop up these strawberries and then get them boiling with sugar so I'm going to use a probably about a cup of sugar um because the recipe called for a pound of strawberries half a cup of sugar I am doubling it um so yeah then after that I'm going to be getting the um dinner started as well so I'll kind of share that with you so this is just what we're doing today okay so I am making the strawberry jam right now so I have the two about two pounds of strawberries, cut up, took the grain top off and then sliced them in half and then um, a cup of sugar. And I'm on about a medium heat. I'm just kind of stirring it. And this is gonna take about probably 20 minutes total because I need to soften them. And then I'm gonna take a potato masher and mash them up. So um, there's not huge chunks in there um, and keep letting it come to a boil and thicken up um, and then we'll be good to go. So this is what it looks like. So it's starting to soften the strawberries right now. And then once they're really soft, I'm gonna take a potato masher and mash them up and then let it still boil and thicken up and then we'll be good. I don't want it. Okay. Sorry, Zoe's talking to me. Okay, so while that is cooking up over there, I'm gonna get started in dinner. So I'm going to make the taco meat. So I use ground turkey. I like the, the taste and texture of ground turkey um, rather than ground beef, and that's what we've always used. And today I just made my own taco seasoning. It is not my recipe, but I will share the recipe that I used um, down below. There'll be a link to it, super easy. I found pretty much all the spices um, at Meyer, but like, man, they were running thin. So I had a little bit of chili powder left. Um, so then I added to it, where is it? I don't know if I can find it now. Of course I can't, but it is a, oh, here it is. It's a chili and lime seasoning. I think it'll be just, um, but this is all they had at Meyer. They had no just chili powder. So I added, about a cup of this to it as well because I needed one and a half cups of chili, of ground chili. So everything else though I found. So I will put it down below. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started on the ground turkey. All you gotta do is brown it up, put the seasoning in with a little bit of water. I don't measure the water. Um, I just kind of eyeball it. And then after that is all nice and mixed together, my secret in ingredient is salsa. I add in a little bit of salsa and a little bit of hot sauce. That's how I always make my turkey, not my turkey, my taco meat. Um, and again, I just eyeball the salsa. I just kind of put a little bit in. It just adds a little bit more flavor to it. Um, and a nice, almost kind of a, like a thickener to it, I guess. But I don't know, it's super good. That's how I always, always make it and everyone loves it. So I'm gonna get started on the taco meat. Okay, so. The ground turkey is cooked and I added in my taco seasoning, the homemade one. It's in the link, it's in the description below. Anyways, now I'm going to add some salsa. You can add whatever salsa you want and I just kinda eyeball it. That's it. Hang on, Zoe's hot. Zoe's coming to help. 
and then you stir it in. And I don't think I'm gonna put hot sauce in it this time. I think it'll be fine without it because I don't want it too spicy for the kids. And that's it. My taco meat is done for dinner tonight. Okay, so I am cooking up the bell peppers and onions, and we're gonna use it in our tacos, and whatever's left over, I can use it for anything else, either leftover tacos or in like scrambled eggs. Um, so all I'm doing is the bell peppers with avocado oil and salt and pepper. And then later when we get back home from the chiropractor, I'll heat everything up, make the shells, and then we'll be good to go. So this is the brand that I use to make um, tortilla shells. And it's super easy to do, honestly. Just follow the instructions on the back and then you're good to go. Let me show you the tortilla press. Cause you do need tortilla press if you're gonna make your own. Okay, so this is the tortilla press I got. When you're using it, um, put parchment paper in between. So you're just gonna tear parchment paper, fold the parchment paper in half, and then you're gonna put your um, tortilla ball in between the parchment paper and press down on the tortilla press to flatten it out, and then you'll have our tortilla. Um, so I got this one off of Amazon. I'll have the link below. I don't know, it's like $13, super cheap, but kind of fun to do, and then you can have your kids Hang on, you can have your kids help you as well when making them. Um, and they just taste better when it's made at home. So while that is cooking, if you watched my last video, I did a how to overwinter tomato, jalapeno, and bell peppers. And look how much has grown since the last video. There was like that much on it. Um, but look, it's got, it's gotten bigger, more growth. Same with the bell peppers, and there's little tiny, I don't know if you can see like right there. So those are gonna flower, and maybe I'll have some bell peppers over the winter. Um, I will show you the other one as well in the laundry room. So here's the other bell pepper. I just put it in here with the jalapeno. Um, so from the last video, the jalapeno had, had leaves and stuff, but on the bottom of the leaves, there was some like nasty stuff on it. I don't know what it was, so I cut it down. I mean, it still looks pretty good. It's still green, so it doesn't look dead. So I put this next to it to maybe help. I don't know if it's gonna like germinate anything or I don't know, we'll see what happens. So I just put this in there for now. We'll see if the jalapeno does anything, but if it stays like this and alive, I'll be happy because then I can transplant it in the, in the spring. But this, um, bell pepper is doing really good too. It has a lot more growth, a lot more little buds. Oops, like right there. There's a lot of them. So I don't know if I'm gonna get any bell peppers over the winter, but that would be really, really exciting. So hopefully having these two paired up, maybe that will help the jalapeno pepper. Okay, so I have about an hour until Tucker gets home. So I'm gonna have a quick lunch, do some cleaning around, some laundry, the normal stuff that I do. Um, I'm gonna take today off from working out just cause it's kind of a busy, crazy day and I'm already dressed and just don't feel like it. So today's gonna be my rest day, but usually I do work out as well in the basement. Um, probably about 45 minutes to an hour is my workout. Um, and I just don't have time today. So I'm gonna have lunch and do the normal cleaning, yay. And then get Tucker off from the bus, do some of his homework with him. And then the older kids get off the bus, we go to the chiropractor, come home, and I'll reheat the taco meat and peppers and get all the fixings ready for taco night. And um, if I remember and have time, I will show you how to make 
the taco shells. But honestly, just follow directions on the back. If I can do it, you can do it. It's super easy to do. Even you, you can have your kids help as well. Um, and they just taste better when they're homemade. So hopefully I'll be back later to share with you our taco night. We just got back from the bus stop, the end of my driveway. Um, there are no like one location of bus stops. It's everyone's driveways because like I said, we're kind of out in the country. So um, everyone's driveway is their own bus stop because everyone has a good amount of land out here. Um, like I'm on 10 acres. I'm sure everybody on our street is on 10 acres as well. So it's kind of a long walk to the bus stop and I walked today I had to take the garbage out and the sun was out so it was a little cold but not too bad anyway I got the mail while I was out there too and my seeds came in so I ordered some seeds I'm going to try this out this year and I know some of them I can start inside and I just ordered more um I ordered through let's see if I can get their true leaf market I heard good things um from them and um we also ordered um like just some random flowers in the summer that we planted up by the road so we'll see what happens next year with it but anyway i ordered some lettuce mixed greens so this one excuse me is a romaine lettuce um i did that last year but i um, harvested it wrong so it didn't last as long and then it started to flower so now that I know how to harvest it, we're good to go. And we eat romaine a lot. I'm also trying to do spinach. So we're going to do spinach. Um, and what else? Mixed greens. I got mixed greens too. So I am very, very excited to try this. And I'm going to do it indoors. I'm going to have to look back on their website to see when I can start indoors. And on the garden planner in the previous video I did on garden planner, um, it also says when I can harvest it indoors. So I'll have to look at that too. I think I can start like end of February. So not yet, it's too early right now. So I'll have to start it indoors and I'm gonna have to try and find a spot in the basement and figure that out because I wanna have a head start on it. So then I can transplant it into the garden and get a good amount of food um, growing early because last year we had a late start. We weren't home for the month of June. It was crazy. And then I was like, I'm going to start a garden. So we did it like end of June, beginning of July. So we did a very late start to our garden, but it turned out pretty good. So I'm very excited to get more. I also ordered broccoli. What else did I order? Maybe onion. I don't remember. I have to look back, but I ordered some more stuff. Um, and some trays because I don't have any trays or anything like that to put them in. Um, so we're going to do that. And then I think after Christmas, I'm going to order um, some fruit. So I want to order two apple trees, raspberry, blueberry, and strawberry. So I'm going to order from um, a website and they're going to ship it. They'll ship it out to me and I should have it by like April. Um, so because I don't have anything local, I called a couple of local um garden centers not by me but they don't have any fruit well especially like blueberries right now but they don't even have any fruit trees um available either so i'm gonna have to just order them online and have them shipped to me so it was an exciting mail day today um so in a little bit the big kids are going from home and then we have chiropractor hooray good job that's kind of big so we're making the shells hang on i'll help you so we got homemade shells, homemade guacamole, the homemade taco seasoning, the peppers are cooking up. Everything is homemade. Pretty much. Let me flip these real quick. Okay. So they're rolling it into a golf ball size. I lined the shell press with plastic wrap. Zoe. Easy, Zoe. And then they flatten it out, and then I put on the skillet. That's it. All done? 
Do a good job. Okay, so I think this is where I'm gonna end it for today. So we're gonna finish up making the shells and then have dinner and then that's it for today. So thank you for joining. Have a blessed day. Make sure to like and subscribe and come back again.